Hello everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky, Permadeath the Journey, part 10, maybe, I think so. We're on our awesome freighter. Look, I tried to put a light here, but it's hanging like feet in front of the desk. Okay, so I got the freighter almost completely finished. I've got stuff in the freighter. That's the wrong button. <laughs> I've got cadmium and emerald and indium and somewhere I have some magnetized ferrite and I have gold and chromatic metal right there and uh, what else is it? I can't remember what but we're gonna do uh, the atlas today part of it anyway looky there I you know I am so glad <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to do this part in front of you, and there's a very good reason for it. <laughs> it took a long time, and I was really, really, uh, you know, not nice about it. <laughs> I, need to <laughs> I need to move a few more plants, and uh, I, uh, <laughs> I have three to go. Well, three to go plus one. <laughs> But <laughs> but right now we're going to do the atlas and not do this. So it takes. So I have, let's see what I did here. I think I might have done too much anyway. No, I did it right. So 1, 2, 3, 4 times 12 okay, is uh, 48 planters of fungal mold. And that means that we need, let's go to the other side. There's more room. That means that we need 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, cactus flesh, okay. 48 fungal mold, eight cactus flesh, and four more die. One, two, three, four. I haven't actually tested this. I just did some mathematics on a calculator. Don't worry. I used a calculator. <laughs> all of these. <laughs> We've got all of these in here. Okay. It's a very confusing mess of just piled up rooms. And um, yeah, it's very confusing. Okay. And I have. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you the, ref the refiners. I have four, but there's two more down on the uh, base. So they'll go right here. And what have I got in here? I have chlorine and chlorine and rare metal. Woohoo! And uh, <laughs> that one's empty. I was making uh, indium and cadmium and uh, emerald because I uh, used most of it, two of them anyway. To do that, we need to get the A but we don't have the rank for it yet. Um, so, so that means that we can now fly 860 light years in our freighter, and when we get the A, it should jump up uh, another 1,200, um, or a little under 1,200. I got scanners, they're awful. I got a scatter blaster. <laughs> what was the rare metal for? For the supercharger. Uh, let's see. Yay! Now we have a supercharger. And, um, okay. So, let's see here. I can't believe I started this video. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we are. Uh, log. Atlas path. Galaxy map. And there's the atlas. It's right there. Let's go to the first atlas. I have been stopping in every system along the way, <clears throat> every turn, trying to get suit slots, but um, I want to start this. So here we are. So, how many suit slots did I get? Um, 38 so 10 more in the front and I got a couple more of these so that I could get more life support 
and um, I don't need to carry that around. There's a lot of things here I don't need to carry around. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do the atlas. The point of doing the atlas uh, on our journey here is to get the star seed so that we're not traveling across this galaxy for the next 10 months. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to get to the center before beyond drops, but that's okay. I don't think we're going to have anything to worry about. Uh, I do not believe there'll be a galaxy reset. Um, I think that we'll just be able to carry on uh, after Beyond Drops, but with better graphics. We'll see. <laughs> there might be an interruption in the uh, force there, but I don't know. <laughs> now, why would it bring me to the back of the Atlas? That's funny. <laughs> I don't care. Oh man, that red light is so ominous looking. Here we go. <laughs> I am so hungry. What was I thinking? <laughs> I know what I was thinking. It's 12 noon and I don't have a video ready to go tonight. <laughs> and I have two or three videos I need to make today. And I'm not even ready to do one of them. <laughs> All right, eh? Let's get some words. Temperature. We're in a gex system. Woohoo! I think I said that last time we started in a gex system. <laughs> Boink! <laughs> uh, there it is. There's not very many words in the first atlas station, so... I don't think there is one over here. Let's see. Oh, I ran into that wall. Right there. It's right there. Here's a word, magnetic. I don't remember who it was the other day that was doing the atlas and they're like, I wonder what happens if you jump on the other side of this wall. <laughs> what happens is you get stuck um, and you might have to reload your game. <laughs> All right. The first two atlases have free warp cells. Some. Let's go see what he has to say for himself. Oh. I don't know any of those words. <laughs> Waffer coup? <laughs> well, the atlas called me to this interface, and yet its purpose remains unclear. It's probably because I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> it demands worship? No. It demands obedience. That ain't gonna happen. It welcomes me. It knows what I am. It offers the gift of true understanding. But why? Why does such power and knowledge crave submission? It knows my thoughts before I know them myself. It knows what I will do. The Atlas asks me to follow its path. Okay, I'll follow you. Captured Nanode. That's the first one. Boink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gotta go get our suit slot. And I'm looking for um, what was it? Oh yeah, scatter blaster upgrades, so I can have a shotgun. Boy, that didn't feel like we were in space. Felt like we were in milk. Discovered by Skitzer. <laughs> well, Skitzker, Skitzer, if you're watching, <laughs> there's the planet you found when you were on your Atlas path. 
No, there's no room in the ship. Between the gun and the hyperdrive. <laughs> Ship's upside down. We must be too. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Not so valuable system, Skitzer says. <laughs> <laughs> does that mean we shouldn't look or does that mean he doesn't like scatter blasters or I don't even know what that means <laughs> wasn't what he was looking for <laughs> hello little guy uh, there's a S-class life support module and a thermal module could have used one of those yesterday Oh my lord. There's some nanites. <laughs> Shields and positrons. And what do you got? A pistol. Maybe he was looking for a gun. <laughs> There's a scatter blaster right there. There's a scanner right there. I have all three scanners, but like I said, they're terrible. So let's see which terrible one should go first. Uh, ooh, that's a tough choice, isn't it? I'll take this one out. Scanner. Oh, God almighty. Oops, I forgot the other thing. Uh, scatter blaster. Right there. Okay. Eventually I'll move that, um... Scatter blaster, the main gun there. Or not the scatter blaster, rather. The terrain manipulator. I'll move it out of the way. But um, for right now, it's not a problem. I don't have any nanites left. <laughs> Dude, there's medication for that. <laughs> I'll show you really quickly what kind of missions we have left. Um, so I'm part of the way through some of these because I was attacked by crabs and cats and oh, sentinels and all kinds of things yesterday on one planet. <laughs> so, oh, there's a scan minerals one. There's two of them. All right. Oops. There was a page there. Oh, just another one of those. All right. Huh. You gotta change this back. When you take missions, it takes you off of your main mission, so you gotta keep an eye on that. See if it's within shooting distance here. Ah! There we go. All right, we can do it in the in the radiant pillar. Let's go. Discovered by subject Sweet. Well, subject sweet. There's a system you've been to probably a long time ago. <laughs> I could fry a steak in the time it takes to land on an atlas. for common. Another Gek system. Oh, 
Oh boy. I don't know who I saw doing this the other day. Uh, jumping uh, replaces your uh, running part of your jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to struggle and walk so much. There's another one over here. Chip. I wonder if that's like, you know. Fish and chips chip or like computer chip chip. Ready, Atlas. Geometric construct Krona. <laughs> <laughs> Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering? Waiting for a traveler. Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax. The stars that fill the skies and the hatred that burns within the deep. <laughs> every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. I take the gift of knowledge. Certainly my decision. All doubts are silenced. The stars await me. Had that one. I, I obviously don't have all the stuff on me. You saw me arranging it on the freighter, but that's no matter. Here we go! Other way. New you lang ye langer. New ye langer. Good grief. <laughs> I was reading the name of that planet. <laughs> but it crashed into the space station. I woke up with the greatest intentions today. I was gonna, uh, I am gonna go buy a second monitor uh, today or tomorrow, I don't know. Depends upon whether I can get this finished today. Um, I'm going clothing shopping. I got some money out of the general fund. And, uh, <laughs> Our household runs like a government. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have the general fund. The monthly stipend. <laughs> and I had to up the amount of taxes that come out this time, uh, this year. Because uh, I, <laughs> I ended up owing money last year. Oops. Any clicks. There we go. No rotter. I don't always owe money to the government, but when I do, boy, <laughs> I do it up. Hi, <laughs> Gecky people. You're weird. Oh, look, your cousin's running the mission board. <laughs> oh, let's see here. I was looking for nanites here, really. But if uh, I'm going to do the other mission anyway, I'll do them all. I have the hiccups because I didn't eat. Uh, navigation data. Do I know all of the... Uh, Let's check my missions here. 
Maxed out aliens. Oh, I need all these words. Good grief. And since the Atlas is being so stingy. Retain. Good grief. What do you got? A fowl. Syrup. That just makes me want pancakes. See, I'm hungry. <laughs> Share. That's so nice. Did I talk to these two? Looped. I wish I'd checked that before the last before I left the last day at Atlas Station. Acceptable. Oh, I, I advise you stop playing that game. <laughs> iPad games aren't good for your eyes. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Thanks for the words, guys. <laughs> made a circle around our ship. Our capital ship. Oh. Well, I started to say that I woke up, but I did. I woke up early. And uh, I woke up in time to watch Procedural Traveler. I, um, sort of just put a smiley in there <laughs> he congratulated me on 100 subscribers thank you all so much it's so exciting to grow our little community i really appreciate it and then i fell asleep <laughs> the phone's about to ring turned it off, right? That rattling uh, teacher from Peanuts noise is gone. <laughs> I brought the house phone in because one of the many things on my list today was to pay off the master charge. I don't know how master charge gets away with it. Uh, they are charging me interest and I haven't taken any cash out. So along with the regular monthly um, bill for the computer and uh, the car, which I had, uh, I had the car done about six or seven months ago, had all the brakes replaced and everything. Um, along with that uh, bill, they're also charging me interest, and I don't know why. So there's a, um, oh, I can't think of what you call it now, but um, they charge you a certain amount based on what you've charged, and that's fine. And uh, then they charge you interest if you get cash out. Well, I haven't used any cash. And I'm a little bit concerned that um, one of the places that I used my master charge, you know, some lunch in or dinner or some place like that, uh, used it as cash instead of as charge. But it's showing as a charge and not as cash. I've had up and down credit my whole life. <laughs> I was a college student for many years and that destroys your credit. <laughs> I don't know if anyone knows that, but it does. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> oh, is it the first three? So yeah, three. It's the first three Atlas stations that you get these. Cool. Six warp cells. Is that how many I have? Awesome. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't read it. I forgot to read it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just flicked through it like it wasn't even there. It all says the same thing. All that crazy religious stuff. I think the corrupted sentinels got in and reprogrammed the atlas. And he's crazy now. He? It? Whatever. Hello, wall. <laughs> Undiscovered. I'm not fond of this particular piece of music. I don't know if you can hear it, but I don't like it. It's that Jeopardy music. Not like the theme from the game so game show Jeopardy, but the music sounds like you're in Jeopardy. Oh, it's a frozen world. That little moon up there looked intriguing. I did find one interesting planet, but it was only interesting in its sort of weirdness. All three of the resources on the planet were blue. So when I went to get Indium, that planet had... Uh, uh, indium, dioxide, and cobalt. So all of the resources were blue. And it was interesting <laughs> trying to find the one that's indium. So I ended up having to land and scan around for it. But no diplos, no, no dinosaurs. Nothing like that. I spent most of my time on that freighter. I went fungal mold hunting, and even though our, um, even though we had access to other fungal mold bases, I decided to go to a new planet, and uh, that was a rough trip, man. <laughs> there was some uh, upset sentinels and some angry predators. <laughs> But I obviously, I have enough fungal mold to plant those last few planters, but, um, that's an A19. That's why I don't like explorers. I rarely ever see an S-Class Explorer. Wrong button. 43%. Which is, you know, again, a whole lot better than the Radiant Pillar, but I don't have the nanites yet. So... Do that bit after the atlas. I don't have any glyphs, I don't think. I don't think I do, unless I found one out in the wild. I did, I found one out in the wild. Man. That was the save. <laughs> Red ass sentinels. Minerals. Tropical planet photograph. What's the other one? Blueberry an item? No, we don't have time for that. We're, we're on the path. Gotta call in the freighter because I don't have ionized cobalt. I guess, as it turns out, you don't actually have to have um, each one of the seeds made before you do the next one. I thought you did because you used to have to, I think. over there. Um, but, uh, come on. There we go. Alrighty. But I saw someone do the Atlas Path the other day, did all of them without making any of the seeds. So I guess you can do that. Here's our great big beautiful ship, the DSV4 Kainai. She's 
of beauty. Alrighty. <clears throat> we'll go make this. And, uh, <laughs> all those plants. <laughs> all those plants just bloomed at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to make. I meant to make uh, that. Is it not on the freighter? Nope. It is not on the freighter. <laughs> Uh, they're nice cobalt. Let's put that away. <clears throat> so I not get confused. Alright, starship. This goes on the... Ah, oh, darn. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> this goes on the freighter. <laughs> this goes on the freighter. Put that away. Put that on the freighter. Put that away freighter away I need to keep that uh, storage storage well it's not much space now then I don't even need to tell you how hard this is alrighty this is the problem that I have with these things. See? Where's the plant at? Is it way up there? I'm pointing way, way above that. Oh boy. Nope. <laughs> I was not in good humor last night when I finished this. This, it takes too long. I lost count. No, no. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. <laughs> I'm not going to pick all of this. I'm just uh, going to plant some in those few empty spaces. And then, uh, then I will pick it all after I say, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we need some ammonia. There we go. It's around here somewhere. Ammonia. Right. You get one in and you just keep clicking. There we go. It will go in there. Uh, but the whole <laughs> harvesting is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Let's see if there's a mission. I have three ships, I think. So we got an explorer, right? I'm guessing. And then I found this uh, support uh, frigate. And then this mining vessel I found yesterday. That is the absolute minimum right there. But the, com the exploration and trade and combat numbers were good. Um, so, uh, do we have fuel? We have only 150 tons of fuel, so probably we can't do this with uh, potential missions. Like a really short industrial mission. How about that? 50 tons. We can do that one. Alrighty. Bye, guys. I'm kind of hoping that something will break so that I can show you how to fix it because I have all the stuff to fix it. Uh, scientist? you have nanites for me? Nope. <laughs> Firmer dude? You want me to plant something? 
Nope. <laughs> he wants a photograph. I don't care. <laughs> All right. And over here. The whole reason I built this was so that I'd be lit up. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, we will come back tomorrow and continue to add suit slots to the Atlas and get missions. And um, thank you all again so much for watching and subscribing and sharing and being so awesome. Have a great day.